Well, today the U.S. Senate had a moment of silence for Senator Dianne Feinstein. as She died last night at 90 years old. ABC's Liz Landers has more on her life and her career. Even Trailblazing politician side, Senator Dianne Feinstein passed away Thursday evening at 90 years old. And the sign of a friend is someone who stands by your side to fight the good fight on the good days and on the bad. Dianne Feinstein was all of this and more. Feinstein served six terms in Congress and her career was marked by many firsts. She was the first woman president of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, the first woman mayor of San Francisco after the assassination of Mayor George Moscone and openly gay politician Harvey Milk. Coming into office under sad circumstances, but leading us with great dignity, with great effectiveness and great leadership. And one of two women first elected to the U.S. Senate from California. When she arrived in Washington, D.C., Feinstein rose to the highest ranks of political power in the Senate, becoming the first woman to chair the Senate Rules Committee and the Senate Intelligence Committee. She offered the 1994 federal assault weapons ban, leading to a 10-year restriction on certain automatic weapons. The time has come, America, to step up and ban these weapons. President Biden, who served with Feinstein in the Senate, memorializing his friend. She was a historic figure, trailblazer for women, and a great friend. In her last few years in public life, Feinstein's health was failing, and she appeared confused at times. Okay, just, great, I. With some Democrats calling for her to resign. After the criticism, Feinstein announced she would not seek re election in 2024. California Governor Gavin Newsom had previously promised to name a black woman to replace Feinstein and serve the remainder of her term if she chose to resign. None of the candidates who have announced they're running for her seat will be considered. Representatives for Feinstein say that she passed away last night at her home in D.C. She was in the Senate just yesterday where she cast her final vote. In Washington, Liz Landers, ABC News.